I asked Do Not Age CEO Alan Graves why omega-3 supplements are good specifically for longevity. Well, one of the basic things about omega-3 is that it is very, you have a, an abundance of it in your brain, or at least you should do. A healthy brain has a lot of omega-3. And of course, the brain is what runs your entire body. So, you, you know, people hopefully understand how important the brain is. And the problem that happened was diets changed over time as well as food quality changed as well and, and food supply chains. So we used to get plenty of omega-3 from diets and we no longer do. So I think the stat was over 70%, don't quote me on that. I think it's a, it's definitely the majority. I think it's over 70% of us do not have enough omega-3. So if you think of the three closest friends you've got, so that's you and three other people, so there's four of you. Out of those four of you, three are lacking in a very basic thing omega-3 yeah. which is very very dangerous um yeah. and this is also the reason why we introduced the test kit so we have a vitamin d and omega-3 test kit because it was so basic we at first kind of assumed that particularly do not age members would already be have healthy levels of omega-3 and, and we found out after some testing that wasn't the case so that's why we introduced the test kit because people can have a look whether they need to add omega-3 supplement to their uh, to their diet. No, I, I did a, a video on omega threes recently, and it was when I was doing the research. It was interesting. Most healthcare providers actually recommend an omega three supplement because of that same thing. Yep. It's so important, and because our the sad American diet <laughs> has, or standard American diet, also referred to as the sad diet, is permeated throughout much of the world, and. Mm -hmm we don't have omega threes and therefore our health is suffering. And one thing that was interesting is that people that have uh, an abundance of omega three or that they're not lacking that in their diet, there was research showing that they actually have bigger brains to your point about the brain. It's there crazy. You go. There you go. It's like, wow. I got all this room in my head. I just need a bigger brain to fill. <laughs> so after my conversation with Alan, I did some additional research specifically about omega-3s for aging or longevity. And eventually I came across research done by Dr. Rhonda Patrick. She's a big fan of omega-3s and an expert on that topic. On her website, she talks about various benefits of omega-3 fatty acids, and there are many. But I'm only gonna talk about, or I'm only gonna list, the ones related specifically to longevity. And let's start with reducing ischemic events, including cardiovascular death by as much as 25%. An ischemic event is when the blood flow to your brain is paused temporarily, which can result in a stroke. So reducing that by 25% could be a really good thing. The next one is preventing age-related macular degeneration and improving night vision. Awesome. Hey, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Following this, we have reducing DNA damage, oxidative stress, and influencing various biomarkers of aging. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Following this, we have reducing muscle loss in older adults. I had no idea that omega-3s could help reduce muscle loss. Next, we have protecting against damage from fine particulate air pollution exposure. What does that mean? What this basically means is it's pro helping protect against environmental toxins that we're breathing in in the air. Next, we have enhanced immune system. Dr. Patrick says, evidence suggests they, meaning omega-3 fatty acids, dampen the pro-inflammatory state associated with autoimmune disorders and may decrease the risk and severity of viral disease like COVID-19. I also wasn't aware of this next one, and that is reduced risk of cancer. Now, that topic is being debated whether or not omega-3s reduce the risk of cancer, but a 2021 study involving more than 42,000 people enrolled in 17 prospective long-term cohorts found that higher blood omega-3 concentrations were associated with seven with a 7 to 13 percent lower risk of death from cancer. So I know they continue to debate that topic, but I'm leaning towards what if it does? There's all these other benefits that make it, you know, appealing to increase my intake of omega-3s. And if it also helps prevent cancer, that's a, that's a huge bonus as well. Hey, if you're interested in this topic, I highly recommend you go check out the article on Dr. Rhonda Patrick's website. I link that in the description below, along with all the research for this video. Next, we have improved neurocognitive health. 
Omega-3 fatty acids and specifically DHA make up 30% of the brain's total lipid profile. Like Alan was saying earlier, our brain needs omega-3s to be healthy and function properly. Along these lines, studies show that omega-3, specifically DHA, may play a role in the prevention of Alzheimer's disease. I'm not sure that this next one is specifically related to aging, but is a very common disorder. And it's one that I've struggled with personally for most of my life. And that is depression. Multiple studies have shown that omega-3 supplementation may have antidepressant properties. A meta-analysis of 20 studies involving more than 5,800 participants indicated that omega-3s reduce depressive symptoms, especially in studies of longer treatment duration involving participants with mid to moderate depression. So I don't struggle with depression, not even remotely close to as much as I used to, but when I saw this, I was thinking, man, I should have been taking more omega-3s all this time. And to sum it all up, we have improving longevity and reducing early death. In a study involving more than 42,000 people, that same study we talked about earlier, showed that higher blood omega-3 concentrations was correlated with a lower risk of all-cause mortality by as much as 15 to 18 percent. All-cause mortality means death due to any cause. Dr. Patrick says these data suggest that omega-3 fatty acids, primarily marine-derived, are responsible for the reduced risk of premature death. This is basically saying higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids in your blood may reduce your chance of dying for any reason. Wow. Talk about longevity, right?